here? You can see me? Okay. All right, everyone get out their outsider's book, please. We're going to talk about today's lesson. We are going to create a poster project based on the outsiders. But before we get started doing that, <coughs> we need to summarize where we're at so far. Okay? Can anyone give us a summary of the last chapter, which was chapter 10? Candace. Uh, where uh, Dally uh, can't get over the fact that Johnny died and he basically robs a grocery store to get killed by the police. Oh, wow. Okay, so you guys are at that point in the book. So we know Johnny has died. Of his injuries sustained where? Tyler? Um, at the church. At the church. And what was he doing at the church? Saving kids out of a fire. Saving kids from a fire. Who would you say the narrator of this story is? Corey? Pony Boy. Pony Boy. And what do we know about Pony Boy so far? Who does Pony Boy live with? Carmen? He lives with his brothers. He lives with his brothers. What are his brothers' names, Chrisman? His brothers' name is Soda Pop and Dairy. Soda Pop and Dairy. Uh, where is Pony Boy's parents? Ryan? They died in an auto wreck about 10 years ago. Yes, they died in a car crash <coughs> about 10 years ago. And then we have another probably main character in the story. We have Pony Boy, and who is the other one? Justin? Johnny. Johnny. And Johnny, are his parents alive? Yeah. Yes, but well, what do we know about Johnny's parents? They're abusive and drunk. They're abusive and drunk, okay. And uh, Alexis, what happened to uh, Johnny at the park? Uh, um, Johnny saw Bob and Dad beating up and drowning. Johnny was stabbed Bob and Good, okay. Well, I guess that's not good, but... Good that you knew that. In the story, Johnny was at the park, and they were attacked, he and Pony Boy. Pony Boy was being drowned by Bob Sheldon, and Johnny stabbed Bob Sheldon, and Bob Sheldon died. Okay? So when we talk about characters in the book, and in the outsiders themselves, we also want to address a few other points. First of all, what do we say is probably the main theme of the outsiders? Christian. Uh, rich versus poor. Rich versus poor. Very good. The social class struggle that is going on between two groups known as who? Brendan? The Socias and the Greasers. The Socias and the Greasers. And Bob Sheldon was a Soch. And Pony Boy and Johnny are greasers. Greasers, very good. And when we think about the theme, rich versus poor, doesn't that also bring to mind the main conflict, which is what? And it can sometimes be the same thing. Justin? Socias versus greasers. And and that's so two things that we can compare and contrast too, right? Socias, greasers. And let's take that one step further with this poster project that we're going to do and talk about the characters themselves. How can we compare and contrast the different characters? So our project is going to be a poster. I'm going to put you into groups. And in these groups, you and your group members are going to decide a few things. First of all, you're going to decide what character you want to feature your poster around. Okay, we're going to have, if, if everybody wants to do Johnny or everyone wants to make a poster of Pony Boy, we're going to have to draw uh, straws or something to figure that out, okay? Because I would like every group to do a different character. We have a number of characters <coughs> that I am giving you the option of focusing on, okay? <coughs> we have, obviously, Pony Boy. Johnny, Cherry, Dally, or Bob Shelton. 
Now there's a few characters that I chose not to feature. Let me pass these back to everybody, please. Why would you think that I would not feature Tubit as a poster person to do? Corey? He's not, because he, maybe everyone would want to pick him. Okay, maybe. Christian? He's not a huge part of the story. He's not a huge part of the story, so therefore what, Brendan? He does, they don't give too much detail about him. We're going to be lacking a lot of detail, and obviously, one of the focuses of your poster is details. Yes, Kristen, you have something to add? Yeah, I have a question, actually. Sure. Uh, was, is Soda Pop a main character? He is what we would call a minor character. And let's review real quickly before we start talking about what's required on this poster, <coughs> the two types of characters, okay, and how we often describe them. We have major characters. Major characters are always almost known as round <coughs> or three-dimensional characters, okay? They have good and bad qualities. They grow and change throughout the whole novel. We see that with Johnny especially, right? And Pony Boy. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you agree that they're in what we call, what is that word that starts with a D, this type of character? <coughs> Alexis? Dynamic. Dynamic. <coughs> they have values. They change <coughs> as a result of something that happens to them. They go through an arc throughout the story. They start here, maybe dealing with one conflict, it sometimes is resolved or addressed, and then they end up being different and changed forever, right? Okay? Uh, and then the other type is minor characters, otherwise known as flat or static. If you think of a static on your TV, what do you think of? Fuzzy. Fuzzy, and it just, does it change? No. Static just appears on the TV screen and does nothing. Okay? A lot of times, minor characters are there to serve the story of the major character. They're flat, two-dimensional. They have one or two outstanding qualities. For example, two bits of thief. Or uh, Steve, or let's think of Shepard. What was the, uh, the leader of the gang? You, you reminded me, you reminded Pony Boy of an alley cat. Right, Tim Shepard, right? He was the leader of the real gang in The Outsiders. And he was always going to be what? And Pony Boy said he was always going to be a... A uh, hoodlum. A hoodlum or a criminal. He's not going to change, okay? They're usually all good or all bad. And they're interesting, but they can, you know, there's no depth to the story, all right? Well, let's look at the paper in front of you. It says, your task is to create a detailed character poster that represents a mature eighth grade ability in your work. That means, uh, you know, I've seen sometimes students can rush when they do posters, but this one is going to be your best quality of work. We're going to type the information that's going to be on there. The caricature or picture that you use for your character, I want it done very nicely. So I'm going to try and hopefully there will be an artist in your group that you can pair up with and that can do a little bit of artistic input here. All right, so you'll choose one of the following characters. Pony Boy, Johnny, Soda Pop, Cherry, Dally, or Bob. Using the materials and I'm